Safety of Christ. Uh, can I answer real quick? Um, you know the Jews no, today. Hold on, let him answer this real right quick. Okay. No, but the, all, all the apostles were Jews, so clearly all Jews didn't reject Christ. Cool, he did have some Jews that believe. So not yeah, all the, the, the leadership as a nation, you need the leadership as a whole to receive the Messiah. Well, can't just have. And why did they reject him? Because <laughs> they don't believe him. They don't and believe yeah, him. They had unbelief. Because, because he didn't do nothing the Messiah was supposed to do. That's why they rejected him. No, that's actually not true. I, even that's today, even. Even today, the Jewish, the same Jewish people who still are in Judaism or whatever the case may be, they still don't believe that Jesus is still the Messiah. Why? Because they don't think that Jesus was supposed to come down in a quote unquote lowly state or they have this high expectation on God and who he was supposed to be coming well, into his kingdom. kingdom and he didn't do that. Okay, yeah, that's what they perceive. But well, when Jesus what the Bible says he was supposed to do, he didn't do that. Clearly, when Jesus came in on the scene, it was not what they expected. That's on them. You missed the Messiah. That's why those conversations that Nicodemus was having with Jesus when he was so confused what was going on. Yeah, he's talking to them because he's like, this whole entire time I've been here and y'all didn't even know. Is Jesus supposed to bring world peace on the earth? Nope. Isaiah chapter 2 says Jesus was supposed to bring world peace and he didn't do that. That's the product of Israel being restored. If Israel's not restored, there will be no world peace. Israel rejected him. So these prophecies are not fulfilled yet, but what, what does it say if they reject they're established? What what does it say that if they reject them, it won't be no world peace? The world the world had peace always through Israel. That was that's what the prophecy from from the beginning of Israel's being being born as God's nation. He promised to reconcile the world to Him through Israel. What's crazy is that Jesus Jesus came and said that He came to bring the opposite of what the Messiah. He said He came to bring division and not peace. Right. He said he came to bring a you know, he said he, he came to bring a sword, which is the word of God, which separates truth from lies. So and then he used the example of his own family. So he doing the opposite of what the Messiah was supposed to do. No, but no, no the Messiah came to restore Israel, but the truth him being the, the way, the truth, and the life, that's going to always bring division in this world because it's ruled by Satan. So this world, if you're not a believer, you are going to be divided by the word of God. Ruled by Satan and Jesus rose with all power and authority. How can this world be ruled by Satan? That don't make no sense. You, do you what, hear what, what I'm saying? When, when,